All right. Hello, on flight classes. We're going into week three of our social dance testing program, and we're going to bring you a little um, fly flow. Um, nice stretching and and moving and really thinking about your body versus um, conditioning, which is what we've done the past couple of weeks. And so we're excited because we normally don't really, we might cocoon or something at the end, but we normally don't have a lot of time to dive into um, stretching um, and, and that kind of mindset in this class. So um, if you haven't, please hop on and let us know that you are attending for week three. It um, makes it easier for us and easier for Miss Michelle to know who she needs to contact. Um, so you can take this exercise either on your silk rig at home or you can take it on a mat. We, I would encourage you to try, we have the lights turned off and like the, just the lamp over there in the corner. So um, this would be a good opportunity, maybe if you normally take your classes in your living room or something that there's just like a lot, you know, you've got siblings and lots of people around, it might be good to move this into your bedroom where you can just be quiet and be still and really thinking about your body. Maybe if you've got twinkle lights or Christmas lights, that you want to turn on or a lamp to just create that kind of like peaceful, soothing environment. Um, you definitely should. Do you have anything else to add? No, let's just relax. Yes, <laughs> and stretch. We need it. Yeah. <laughs> oh, he's ready. Um, I think for the people um, with a rig, we're just going to go ahead and do either single or double uh, wrist drop from behind and maybe just reach your arms out and lean forward, but we're going to roll our head actually. Why don't we take a child's pose and do this? Yes. So just gently moving your head around, take it slow. Even um, play around with going side to side or looking up and down. Actually, while we're here, um, I think you guys can do this on the ground as well, but I think it's called cat and cow, right? Yeah. So I'll turn to the side of the ground, right? You're going to keep the same position. You're going to lean forward and you're going to actually contract up and then release down, arch and look up. And then just keep switching. Contract. Arch and look up. Couple more. Can you hear your breathing? Be really mindful and really um, think accurate. Like, when are you inhaling? When are you exhaling? Don't let that just be kind of like an afterthought. Good. Maybe one more and then kind of. Dissolve and roll up from that. Nice. That felt good. Okay. Um, based on that cat cow idea, um, you guys can modify okay on the floor, but uh, if you have a rig, just single or double just gentle wrist wrap. You're gonna use the same, um, we do this in our desert with classes too. Just side to side. Okay, we're gonna do 
do some more side to side movement. Bella, if you're more comfortable sitting, I don't know if your feet can fall asleep, if you want to sit in like a crisscross yeah. applesauce position. So we're just going to do some side stretches. So if you want, you can pull the under that ever. It'll be your right arm comes up and over. Yeah, and if you lean into that mat, you can get an additional stretch. Really take a couple breaths in here because there's a different stretch when you're breathing through this position. Good. Up again. Um, you don't need to necessarily have the right foot, but just stretch those triceps. I know all of your teachers are like super into conditioning right now, so feel comfortable with this one. <laughs> and other side. Good. From here, you can take your arms behind you if you want to use your fabric. We're stretching our, um, I guess it's kind of your pet, your shoulders here. And so depending on how comfortable you are with your rig, you can take it um, deeper um, for a, a deeper stretch. Make sure that your nut is nice and relaxed. Shake your head against and shake it down. Roll up. Let's go ahead. I've got some ideas for some weight things. Are you okay? Yeah, it's good. Awesome. Let's go ahead and get into some more um, hamstring yoga poses. So, if you have um, a fabric, we're going to put this in front of our hips um, to help us execute down dog. Um, and I'll turn to the side. And Miss Ella, if you are on that, you can also just go right into your down dog. So in this position, our goal is to get our heels on the floor. If we have that flexibility, um, our um, we're pressing into all ten fingers to help us balance here in our head is in line with our shoulders uh, between our arms. You don't want to be down here. You don't want to be lifted and looking. Good. From here, stretch into a plank. So you can plank, and if you're in fabric, you can Good, back to down dog. You should feel a little bit more stretch in your hamstring. Take it to a plank again. You can apply that plank if you want. Go back into down dog one more time. Thank you. 
from here, if you're on the mat, you can go into like a cobra, into, I think it's an up dog. Um, if you have a fabric, you want to crochet. So uh, if you were here, legs come out and around. And you can use that as an opportunity to stretch your, gosh, what am I not stretching? My arms, <laughs> my pecs, my abs. If you kind of adjust and shift your weight side to side, I feel some stretches in my obliques, which is really nice. Awesome. Come back. Well, go ahead and recover, and we're going to use the fabric, or you can use your mat. We're going to go to just into some flow yes. practices. So, let's start with our right leg. Um, if you're on the floor, you would go into a warrior one. Um, if you have a fabric, leg comes through the fabric into like a knee bite or horse here. And just being kind of like under your rig, you're just going to lunge into that leg. Perfect. I'll turn to this side. So you can see Miss Ella's knee is over her toe. And her back leg, the um, knee and the toe are facing the mirror, so they're not compromised. If you're sitting in, or if you're using the fabric, you want to make sure that you're not releasing into this position that your shoulders, everything is still lifting you up. It's just an additional stretch in your hip flexor. Good, come up. Recover, we're gonna do that again. And we go. For the people standing to get an additional stretch in this, I think you can reach that arm, mm -hmm. left arm behind on that straight leg. Reach that right arm up if you're balanced enough. Perfect. Good. Recover. Why don't we, um, if you're in the fabric, we're going to take it to kind of a warrior two, but you could almost do a pyramid where okay. both legs are straight. Mm -hmm. Gotcha. So if you're in the fabric, you want to make sure that you're, you adjust under your rib point and you're just going to lean into that. You may have the stability to let your arms go out when you hold on, just in case. For us over here, our feet are going to be parallel. And we're going to reach over and down and make sure we're steering those hips off. And you can also, if you're on the floor and you want an additional stretch, they can take that left hand up. There you go. Good. Recover. And let's go ahead, if you're in the fabric, you're going to bring um, this back to, I think we're going to do, it's like a warrior three where you're balanced. Okay. So, um, I'm going to turn to the side. So warrior three is basically a flat back arabesque. If you need to plie this leg, that's totally fine. We're really thinking about our balance and our control. Should we do the opposite leg as well or? Oh, whichever. Why don't you continue working the front legs? Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So we're going to, we're going to stay the same direction. They switch. So parallel leg, knee over toe, shifting that weight forward, extending that back leg and reaching the arms forward. If that's tricky, you can also take it to just a lunge back. Yeah, they should just lunge it. <laughs> I'm going to off my rig. <laughs> Good. From here, go ahead and just straighten that bottom leg. My goal for you would be, if you're out of the fabric, to put your weight on your front foot and then try and get 
Um, release your neck and let your body drop towards your front foot. You're going to feel a different stretch in your hamstring. Good. From here, recover. Oh my gosh, my left side is killing me. <laughs> um, and why don't we do? Um, I'm going to take them on the right into dancer, but they could do. Um, oh my gosh, like a sort of figure four, where so it's the same position. It's similar to dancer. You are just, uh, they can take it here. Gotcha. So maybe if you have a surface to hold on to for this one, unless you feel really confident about your supporting leg today. <laughs> I do not feel yeah. confident in my supporting leg. I'm not <laughs> feeling confident. Good, and recover. We're gonna do the other side. But I, I know, know, same. <laughs> we came in this morning and it was so cold. And, but this is so good because now we're getting warm and everything is yes. getting warm and it's gonna get so warm it's burning the virus out. <laughs> All right, back to meditation. Those are not good thoughts. Okay. Let's go ahead, left side now. So um, into your warrior one or into a lunge position. And if you're in the fabric, if you release more to a forced arch, you definitely get a deeper stretch in your um, hip flexor if that serves you today. and recover and we'll do that again inhale and make sure you exhale through the movement so we inhale as we prep and we exhale as we enter the movement Recover. Go ahead and change to the side. So I think this is where you guys can do a pyramid with the optional arm. Um, inhale and exhale. Recover. Maybe you can hear you can have better get your fingers all stretched. And one more time. Inhale and exhale into your position. Good. And recover. From here. We, oh yes, this comes, um, we can take it to a lunge or to a warrior three, depending on where your balance is. Maybe it's a combination of both. If you want to imitate the fabric, Possibly, if you have a chair that's sturdy or a bed, you could probably have your back leg on that if you want a deeper stretch here. Go ahead and recover. We'll do that one more time. <laughs> I was doing this is from, we trained for, I don't know, two hours, three hours. Beyond, I'm losing track of these. I think it was Tuesday. <laughs> yeah, from all the aerial. <laughs> All right, and back into warrior three. Or you can take it to a lunge. From 
here, go ahead and bring your hands to the ground, putting all your weight onto your front foot. So your back leg is just floating, or there's no weight on it. Um, release your head and try and get all of that weight into your front leg. You should feel a nice stretch in your hamstring here. Good. Or pepper. And we're going to take it into that figure four. Or dancer, if you were ready. Good. I would like to take that same flow on each side but working to increase flexibility now that we're a little warmer. Mm -hmm. So this may be where I'm maybe doing an ankle in the fabric instead of my knee. Um, this is probably working um, runner's lunges and splits mm -hmm. modifications. Okay. So if you're in the fabric, go ahead and rope that off. We're going to put an ankle in the fabric and we're going to stretch forward as we did, but this time you're going to go for your splits. And if you're with Miss Ella, you can modify a runner's lunge. Or if you feel warm, you probably could attempt your split if you're feeling it. Go ahead and recover so they can push to like a staple, stapler if you got a monkey. Make sure those hips are in line, we're not letting them yeah. shut out to the side. Good. And we repeat forward into our split or our runner sponge. That's Miss Ella. <laughs> Good. And recover. Make sure you use your arms to recover, not your hips. Um, if you are in the fabric, and press forward into that seat for a Good. As we take this to the side, they could probably be in a um, Either like a runner's lunge and set, yeah, something, something like that. Um, I always call it like a spider. If oh yeah, your, if you're on your uh, foot, yeah. So whichever stretching. So make sure if you're gonna attempt this in your rib that you're under your rib point, you have a lot of control moving to this almost tilt split position. The goal would be not to swing like I am. <laughs> it's a major test of balance. And it's probably easier to understand if you're off in the right point and then, yeah. Yes. Oh, well, we're not going to hold that for too long. All right. Um, let's go ahead and um, Let's take it back again, and we're going to go for a deeper stretch of our hamstrings. So that position where your weight is all on the front of your foot, with the back leg either just lightly lifting or um, no weight at all, releasing the head. I can already feel that my left hamstrings allow me to release a little bit more. Um, if you want, you could take that into a reverse over split this way. If you have a hammock or you can work for your um, needle, like Miss Ella. Good, recover. One more time. Releasing that neck, allowing your body to get closer and, and letting um, your hamstring relax 
not to let you do that. And then releasing back into that needle or that reverse over split. And recover. Good. We're going to switch it out and do the other side. You guys are doing awesome. Maybe these are just the days of sweating for me, but I'm like sweating <laughs> doing this. And normally I always think of stretches as like, oh, so nice and good. Right. But I'm working. No, I feel warm. Um, so returning to the front, you um, we're going to go into our slit. Um, if you're in the fabric, or you can be in a runner's lunge or your left foot. And we go make sure you're breathing through this movement. And recover to your half monkey or your stapler. Make sure your hips are square. Turn if you're feeling warm enough into your sweater, into that lunge. And recover into that half monkey or stapler. transfer to the side so you can go into that kind of spider lunge if you're down on the floor with Miss Ella. If you're with me, just make sure that you're under that rig point, that you're very controlled, knees and feet and all that good stuff in the right place as you stretch into that second position. Good. Use your arms to recover. Inhale, as I exhale, inhale, <laughs> and exhale back into that knee. And recover. From here, if you're turning um, to put your weight on whichever front leg, um, with either your back leg floating, or there's no weight on it, head is heavy. And from here, you have the option of taking it into a split or into your needle. Recover back up to that position where your weight is on your front foot. And into that needle or into that split. Good. Recover. Pull it up. Awesome. Would you like to trade off and be on the fabric and maybe do some calves, ankles, yeah, feet, and then you could finish with a pose. Cool. And I'll modify all the sounds. All right. So, how about if you're on the rig? I go ahead and do a single or double wrist strap. And really, this is just for support. Let's go ahead and bring our right leg back. I'll turn to the side. And this is going to be a stretch for your calves. So if you've got the rear, you can lean into it. I would say if you're on the floor, you're actually 
uh, leaning with your hips forward to get that deep stretch in your calf. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> 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 Just trying to be good. We'll go those together. So this is actually kind of a stabilizing yeah. uh, exercise. Yeah, real. If you reach your arms forward in this way. Why don't we come up to the mat? And while we're up, let's just kind of roll through our ankle. The right one, right here. Reverse directions. Good. And let's go ahead and bring that right leg back one more time. Also feel this in your hip flexors. Mm -hmm. Feel it all the way up in my Achilles. Good. Slowly coming up from that. Take a second, shake that right leg out. And then we're going to go ahead and switch this to our left leg. Go ahead and bring it behind, make sure everything's in line. I feel it. This mm -hmm. is the angle that I rolled. <laughs> oh no. It's good though. It's like I hurt so good straight. Breathing into it. Notice you guys should also be completely parallel in these positions. You're not turned out. Mm -hmm. Slowly come up from that. Roll through that ankle. Reverse directions. Good. When you're ready, bring that left leg back. I need to do this every day for this side. It feels so much looser. Yeah. Good. Slowly come back up from that one. Shake that side off. Okay, let's see. How about. Um, for people with the rig, go ahead and bring your right leg in, place it by your ankle. And if you're just standing, maybe um, I just want to do some swings, so maybe you guys can do um, just some, I love it, swinging side to side. If you need to hold a chair. Mm -hmm. And if you're the rig, you're just going to be under purple or. <laughs> Under your rear point and then swinging that leg side to side, kind of opening up the hips. And you can also move your feet around. Yeah, if you're on the ground, feel free to do what Miss Natalie's doing. You could even do like a swivel and out. Good, couple more. And from here, if you're in the rig, Transfer if you need to. You're going to swing that leg behind you. Bend that knee for you guys. We will just grab your foot. Yep. And <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. No, I feel you. Um, this is going to be a nice quad stretch. So if you're in the rig, you may feel it just by standing like this. And in fact, I feel a little bit. But if you want a deeper stretch, you can bend that opposite knee just a little bit. I don't want to like give myself an excuse, but the mat's not helping me. Oh, uh, no, I know. <laughs> You'll see me falling in the video. Good. Come up from that. Let go for a second. We'll do that one more time. There we go. <laughs> All right, go ahead and grab a hand. And you're going to sink into this position. Good. Slowly coming up from that. Let go. 
Swing that leg back front and gently take it out. All right, let's go ahead and get our other side. So starting with our swinging. Good. If you hear popping, it's, okay. <laughs> it's my hip. <laughs> nice. When you're ready, go ahead and swing it behind. Getting ready for that quad stretch. And here we go. Releasing from it for a second. Good, good, good. I think you guys on the ground, if you're not feeling that stretch just by holding it, you can also um, bend and push those hips forward and you should feel a little bit more. Yeah. Let's go ahead one more time, lean into it. Even just um, pressing hips forward. Uh huh. I can feel it in my left hip muscle. All right. <laughs> I know. Balance is not strong today. These uh, past few classes we've taught, I've really noticed how bad my love style is. <laughs> oh my gosh. Good. Slowly coming up from that. Bring it back to the front and release from that. Let's see. Okay. A pose. A pose or like um, hip. Stretching, I was just thinking. Did I stretch with the pigeons? Pigeons would be great. Would be so <laughs> that would be so good. So if you are in the rig, you're gonna actually bring it back to that same position we were just in. We'll turn to the side and you're gonna lower down to the ground. If you're um with no rig, you're just gonna do a normal pigeon where you bend that front knee in, extend the leg behind you. You're in the rig, this is just an extra. Especially on so this good. tall one. Merry Christmas. <laughs> this feels awesome. It really does. more seconds and we'll come up from this. And good, coming up from that, let's see. I wonder if you can hold your leg. Yes, you can. Um, okay. Lots of hands. I can do it, you can do it. <laughs> We're here just as a transitional kind of thing. <laughs> Your hammy should be nice and warm. Mm -hmm. Make sure that you're um, straightening your back as much as possible. We don't want to sit into that position. Okay, so nice upright chest pulling that leg in towards you. You can also flex that foot. That'll tire out your muscles a little bit more to allow you to pull your foot to your face. Nice. Go ahead and release from that, and we'll go ahead and transfer to pigeon on the other side. So if you're in the rig, go ahead and swing that leg behind you. Turn and shift to the other side. Lunge down. This one's so high. <laughs> it's good. I think when we do come back or even next year, we're going to try to implement some more yeah. stretching into the, uh, your silks classes because this is so nice. 
we've been very excited about the tricks. Right. <laughs> and, and the conditioning to right. be able to get you into those tricks. I've been, I've been actually meaning to do this <laughs> for a while now, but I had every intention on the camera. Good. Slowly coming up from that. Go ahead and twist. And then that just say, yeah. Like for me, my left side is so bad that even just having it in here right now and like lifting up is a good enough session. <laughs> so. And good. Slowly coming out of that. I think it would be good to finish the class with the Shavasana. You could cocoon if you want, <laughs> and all shavasana. Sounds so, good to me. <laughs> um, basically, if you have a fabric, go ahead and um, start to get in a cocoon. We'll we'll lay here for a few minutes, and if you're joining me on the floor, um, while this could be easily misconstrued as a time to take a nap, what it actually is is a time for self reflection and a time to think about the things that you're grateful for um, and appreciative of and to dwell on those things today so while you're in these positions you're not allowed to think about the things that we don't know right now you're not allowed to be fearful um, you're going to spend these next couple of minutes thinking about ways that you're going to make this day awesome and being thankful for where you are and um and just that you are surrounded by people who love you so much so that is what you're going to be thinking about for these next couple of minutes so just nice and relaxed everything in alignment concentrate on your deep, deep breaths so nice deep inhales and exhales just on your own timing
All right, guys, slowly start to get um, feeling back in your fingers and your toes. Maybe start with moving those a little bit. Let that um, movement kind of spread to the rest of your body, to your knees, to your elbows, shoulders, hips. Slowly open your eyes. And I know that um, March has felt, we're now in April, but March has felt like it was like six months long. <laughs> <laughs> without being able to see you guys. And I know that um, we would all much rather uh, be in the physical classroom right now, but I just want to encourage you that your training at home matters very much. And in all of this, if you are the type of person who chooses and it's a choice because <laughs> I don't want to make it all the time. If you choose to, to carpe diem or to seize your day and make it the best day of training, the best day of being with your family, the best day of embracing the rain or the sunshine or the birds chirping, whatever's going on where you are living, um, you will be the stronger for it and you will be the better for it. So I encourage you to make this day the very best. Um, I have no idea how long yeah. <laughs> this, this stretch is, um, but feel free to um, use this if you're looking for additional things to do during the week and you want to take all of your classes. Again, this would be a good follow up to um, your conditioning video and then your poses video um, to follow that up with the stretch. So, do you have anything to say, Ms. Ella? I think just kind of going off what Miss Natalie said, um, uh, there is going to be an end to this and eventually we're going to come back. So um, I know I've had some days where it's like, I don't, I don't want to do anything. This is overwhelming, but I promise you the more that I've come here to work with Miss Natalie at the studio or even um, filming videos at my house, like I, I feel mm -hmm. so much better. By doing it. I know it's a challenge. We've been challenged trying yeah. to teach these classes um, that you guys hear. So I'm sure it's a challenge for you guys as well at home. But I, I feel better and I feel more accomplished once I've done something. So yeah, movement is so good. Yeah. And when we do come back, like you will, you will be ready. There's going to mm -hmm. be some hurdles, of course, but um, it's important that you take these videos um, these classes because it really is keeping your body in shape but when we do come back because we're not this is not like the end dance is over like this is just a weird time that yeah. we're going through and when we come back it's go time so absolutely we're continuing to train continuing to work towards recitals and other performances and continuing yeah. to advance and well said yeah so we love you guys yeah. let us know that you attended class Eat your veggies, drink your water, get your sleep, sanitize your surfaces, all cover your mouth when you cough and your elbow, you know, all those things. Yes. <laughs> all right, bye, bye. y'all. We love you.